Hi, and welcome to Get Out Weekend. I'm Mandy Zajac with the East Valley Tribune, and you're watching the webcast where we give you some of our favorite ideas for fun things to do over the weekend. You might recognize this building behind me. It's Tempe's Hayden Flour Mill, and this weekend it's getting a whole new lease on life. The faded white silos form the backdrop for a new public event venue, and you can check it all out at a free grand opening on October 5th. The once shuttered property now boasts a grassy lawn, a stage, signage detailing the mill's history, and a shady grove for picnics. Visitors are also encouraged to peek into ground floor windows at machinery inside the historic building, which once churned out flour made from Arizona-grown grain. Friday's event will feature live music from Native American flute player David Montour and the Beatles and Elvis playing band Mariachi Los Rebeldes. Jared and the Mill, a modern folk ensemble, will play washboards, banjos, and other instruments reminiscent of the 1870s when the Mill was established. About 50 restaurants, retail businesses, and nonprofit groups will host booths in the parking lot. Visitors to the grand opening are encouraged to bring lawn chairs or blankets for seating during the concerts. All right, next up, you can skip your usual dinner on Saturday in favor of unlimited samples at Taste, Chandler's Culinary Festival. The four-year-old event returns October 6th with expanded local restaurant offerings and new evening hours. About 30 eateries from El Zocalo Mexican Grill and Grimaldi's Cold Brick Oven Pizzeria to the Keg Steakhouse and Bar, Latitude 8 Thai Grill, and Nothing Bunt Cakes will hand out samples during the evening. Your ticket also includes 12 beer, wine, or spirit tastings and admission to experience lounges. Taste is a 21 and older event. And finally, without changing leaves and cool fall air, it's kind of hard to know it's autumn around here, at least until you've experienced Schnepp Farm's pumpkin and chili party. Open all month long, the pumpkin and chili party embodies everything there is to love in a fall festival, from a pumpkin patch, hay rides, and pig races, to corn mazes, a petting zoo, and a pumpkin launch. New on the farm this year are two giant in-ground air pillows that let kids and adults bounce high into the air. One of our favorite traditions, the after sundown marshmallow roasts, are included with admission. So are fireworks shows on Friday and Saturday nights. Expect to pay extra for pumpkins, candle making, train and pony rides, and food served hot from the farm's giant outdoor grove. All right, folks, that does it for this weekend. But remember, you can find more ideas for things to do in the paper on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. You can pick that up for free in racks all over town. You can also connect with us online. We've always got lots more ideas there. Whatever you do, be sure to get out there, make it a great weekend, and check back here for another Get Out Weekend webcast next week.